I'd like to take this opportunity to build a bit on what was uh, discussed today by Dr. Ward in class. Um, the expression, I didn't get the job, uh, my spouses always remind me, you didn't have the job to begin with. Uh, and uh, that's given me some consolation because I have not gotten a lot of jobs that I've applied for uh, within the Shell system. Um, it's really, really important that you sit down and make a list of questions and you have them from the slide pack and think of what you will say for those questions. This scripting, as it's been described, is preparation and demonstrating to the interviewer that you are interested and that you can go the extra mile to get ready because after all in business that's what people are looking for. Um, I think a fellow said in class when the question came, uh, how did you feel when you didn't get the job? I think he said, uh, I don't have the experience and that was misunderstood. Uh, that's always a, a corundum. You, you don't have the experience, but they want, up, it's, they, they want experience to hire you. And my answer is, a company today will take you with a minimal amount of experience, or in some cases without any, because they believe that, that you can be trained to do the job, that you're flexible enough, knowledgeable enough, analytical enough uh, to be prepared by the company to fill that role. The point about adapting to change is really important. Uh, as the uh, president of the university said to our faculty yesterday in a meeting, uh, business folks have to turn on a dime. And that is absolutely true. Because you're looking behind, your, looking behind you all the time to see where the competitors are. And if they're getting ahead, you have to think, why are they getting ahead? and change. So if you don't get the job, it is important to sit and reflect. What do I think went wrong? And be honest with yourself. And I would immediately write down the questions that you've been asked so that in the next interview, you have even more of a question pool to prepare to be prepared for than you did the first time. Now, I've always been in the, ex in the uh, experience that I've gone in with a yellow legal pad and ready to take notes. Uh, and my kind of expectation is if a person was really interested, uh, they would be doing the same thing. And also it gives you the advantage of making a few notes on that yellow legal pad that you could glance down on if you get uncomfortable. One final comment. When students ask a professor for a, uh, a written uh, endorsement reference, I get these emails and say, Dr. Ward, would you please write a reference for me? I don't know who they are. I'd, I've been here now three years. I don't know what course they were in. So the proper way would be to say, Dr. Ward, I was in your BCom 695 class in the fall of 2010. I did X, Y, and Z in the course. Would you be willing to write a reference note for me? That's my suggestion of how to approach that. All right, that's my follow-up and build-up. Uh, you got the slide pack up there with a lot of questions. Take them out. Think them over. Please fill out the chart and upload that information Tuesday after you're done. And I'll have time Wednesday to prep for Thursday. Thanks. Good luck and have fun.